everybody, welcome back to another weekly craft video. My name is Miss Tori and I'm here in the Whitewater Public Library's Makerspace. This week we have a craft activity that's great for kids. We are going to be making these little clothespin cars with little button wheels that actually spin. So um, you're actually going to have two options for this craft this week. You can pick up your craft kit August 2nd through August 7th and follow along with the video like normal. But we are also beginning to offer in-person craft time as well this week. So um, you can come to the library today, Monday, August 2nd and at 4.30 and do this craft activity with me and some other kids in the library. So whichever works out best for you is just fine. To make this uh, little clothespin car, we're just using some basic materials that you might already have at home, a clothespin, some buttons, a few twist ties, and a little piece of a plastic straw that you can't really see in there. So even if you're not able to make it to the library this week, or maybe you're watching the video after um, the week is already over, you might be able to follow along with some materials that you already have at home. So if you want to see how to make this craft activity, uh, just stick around and we'll get started. In your craft kit this week, you're going to get a clothespin. And that clothespin is going to have a little centimeter length of plastic straw glued to the inner spring. And the reason for that is you need a hot glue gun to attach that little piece. And I know not everybody has a hot glue gun at home, so I just did that step for you. You're gonna get two twist ties and you're gonna get four buttons. Your buttons might all be the same size or you might have two larger buttons and two smaller buttons. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is decorate your car. So you can use crayons, markers, you could even paint it if you wanted to. Um, just whatever you have at home will work fine. When you decorate, make sure you color both sides because they are reversible. So this is going to be the front of our car and this is going to be the back of our car. If you do have two smaller buttons, you want, might want to make the smaller buttons the front wheels and the larger buttons the back wheels. Let's grab one of our twist ties and I find it easier to sort of pinch uh, the twist tie and kind of bend the paper that's wrapping around the inner wire um, just to make it a little bit more narrow and it's easier to thread through the holes on the buttons when you do it like this. This is optional though, you don't have to. But I just kind of pinch it so that when I go to push it through the buttons, it's a little bit easier. All right, so what you wanna do is grab one of your twist ties, bend it in half, and then put it through two of the holes on the buttons. I'll show you how we're gonna do that. Your button might have two holes or it might have four holes, it doesn't matter. If your button has four holes, you wanna put them in the holes across from each other, not the ones right next to each other. I'll show you how that looks. So here I have uh, my first button on my twist tie. Um, the twist tie is passing through two of the holes on the buttons, the ones that are across from each other, not next to each other. Now thread the twist tie through the front of your car, through this little hole in the clothespin right there. Just put it right on through there and grab your other button and do the same thing. Just pass it through two of the holes, the ones that are across from each other. Now, once you're here, you wanna bend down the ends of your twist ties so that it sort of holds your button in place. Just bend them like that, okay? And now we've got a wheel on either side, but now we can tighten this up a little bit. We can twist it up so that the wheels come in a little bit closer to the car. So we're just gonna twist our button. I'm twisting one button in one direction and the other one in the other direction, just like that. And it sort of brings our wheels in towards the car, just like that. 
You don't want to tighten it up too much because then the wheels aren't going to move very easily. And if you loosen it up, they're just going to roll nice and easy just like that. Now we're ready to move on to our back wheels. And we're going to do the same thing except for this time we're going to thread it right through this little plastic straw that's glued to our clothespin. Now we have both sets of wheels attached to our car. So the twist ties act sort of like an axle. An axle is the part of a car that's attached to the wheel and allows it to spin freely. If you're having trouble getting your wheels to spin, you might hold one button still while you twist the other one to either tighten or loosen your wheels. And this might allow them to spin a little bit more easily. If you make one of these cars with your friends or your siblings, you can practice racing them or sending them down a slanted slope. Thanks for watching. Bye. Find us at 431 West Center Street, Whitewater, Wisconsin 53190. Our current hours are Mondays through Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., Fridays from 9 a.m. through 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 9 a.m. through 3 p.m., and Sundays we are closed. To keep up to date, add us on social media. And for more information, please visit our website at www.whitewaterlibrary.org or our Facebook page at www.facebook.com-ilypl.